Well hello folks and welcome back to my gaming channel and uh, welcome back to the farm. So it's been a while since we've been down on the farm but uh, since our last visit uh, I've been busy. Uh, we've planted some uh, crops in the three fields or two yeah three fields that are uh, just by the farm and uh, they are now uh, ready to harvest so uh, what we're going to do guys is we will walk up to the or we shall run because we run everywhere in farming simulator so uh, what we're going to do guys is uh, just going to show you the crops so here we are these uh, are the three fields and uh, the one behind the house so these are ready to uh, harvest so if uh, you come over and walk on the field or next to the field it actually tells us so uh, in the bottom uh, right hand corner you see that it's my field and uh, it's oats and it's ready to harvest so that's uh, one way to um, check that it's ready to harvest but uh, there is another way guys so uh, if you just bear with me I will uh, just give you a quick demo of uh, how we can check also uh, another way so uh, you haven't actually got to be near the f or on the field that you want to check so if you just bear with me guys so guys here we are we are actually on the the map of the the area that the game is based upon or based in so uh, any of the fields that are um, highlighted uh, down the bottom so you can see guys so we are um, the highlighted fields that we're interested in guys are down in the bottom right that's my field so uh, if you look on the bottom right where it says filters it tells us the fruit type so uh, that's sort of a what, dark orangey brown so we're looking at fields 19 24 25 and 26 that's the ones we're concerned about at the moment so uh, if you look at the sort of the map if you like uh, they're sort of a, an orangey brown so that's oats and if we use the uh, little stick we can scroll through and that tells us various bits but what we're interested in is the growth so as you can see guys it's now changed colour so fields 24, 25 and 26 are ready to harvest and uh, the green fields as you can see uh, guys they are growing and the uh, sort of purple fields they are I own pretty much most of the fields don't I? <laughs> I didn't realize that anyway so uh, yeah that's uh, that's another way uh, of tiling guys but uh, that's in the main map so what we do is just jump back now to the farm so guys here we are back back at the farm so uh, in order to uh, harvest these three fields now what we've got to do guys is obviously we don't want them to wither so we want to harvest them and the faster the game time this game is running at uh, if you like just one just normal speed if you like real time so the faster you have the game running the quicker they're gonna um, sort of be ready to uh, harvest but obviously if they're ready too quick we won't be able to harvest them quick enough before they actually wither so anyway guys uh, we're gonna need one of these combine harvester now um, as we're going to be harvesting oats the header on this combine harvester is uh, okay this header here would be for um, different crops corn as you can probably see a little picture of corn on the side of this so that is the one for corn it might also do other crops as well but uh, we're not going to be using that one so we need the combine so I'm going to start the engine What we do guys, we will hire a worker for this one. Went a long way around there, didn't we? So once we get this uh, underway, we can uh, move around the farm. What a... Ooh, oh, crap! <laughs> we left that there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do guys, we are setting up along here. So 
So what we got to do guys is we got to press the left one stick so we want to lower the header Now we don't, now we're, uh, if you see, uh, enable straw swathe We don't want that because we've got enough of that And I can't do any more baling so uh, we don't need that So it'll just chop it up and uh, go on the field for fertiliser I suppose so we've got to turn the machine on first on the light and then you see you guys just have a little look around you can lower that front I don't really know what to do I meant to do but uh, I'll have to google that but anyway once we're ready to go we just go off we go and go forward of course <laughs> and there we go So as you can see guys, that's just spreading out the, uh, the chaff or the straw, just chopping it up because we don't want to use it. We've got enough of that. So I'll just do this one and then I'll turn around. Now the proper way to do it is to lift the header. Jolly well go again. So that's what it looks like from the harvester, so you gotta make sure we're not running off target, yeah. So that's what it looks like from inside the machine. So there we just hired the worker, nope, well we have, but uh, you got to <laughs> come out of the field. So what we got to do guys is, because we've turned around to the field, we actually, there's nothing to do. So what we got to do, we we'll line up again and then we'll hire the worker. In order to actually hire the worker, you need to be actually on the bit there. There we go. And now we're hired the worker, so we'll do some drone shots How about that. So there you go, guys. That's uh. I'm uh, going to leap out of, jump out of a moving combine. There we go, without getting run over. Right, so... Uh, so what I do, we're going to let that uh, chappy do his bit. It probably, uh, at some point, we'll have to empty the uh, harvester, but that's the next thing. We might get a full tank out of one field, or nearly, and start the next one. But anyway, guys, what I do now, let's... Uh, no, I'll tell you what I have got to do guys, I've got to go to the um, garage, Carlo's Motors, and I need to pick up my pickup and uh, a trailer, because we had a bit of a problem with our straw, not our straw bales, our wool bales, so if you just bear with me guys, I'm not going to run there, but I could, but no. So uh, we'll catch up the uh, Carlo's, Carlo's, Carlos's Autos. So there you are guys, we are at uh, Carlos's Autos. So what we need to do, we need this pickup. Now as you can see in the back of the pickup, I have already loaded a um, it's a forks if you like for uh, the telehandler. 
So uh, I've done that. And we've also bought this for trailer because I need to pick up the straw bales. No, I don't. I need to pick up the wool bales. <laughs> so uh, we're going to drive this up to the um, where the sheep enclosure is, and then go to where the cattle enclosure is, grab the, the telehandler, and uh, attempt to load that on there. That dog again, I can't, I don't know who he is. Oh, I'm fork wobble about a bit. Oh, well. Oop, that's a bit. A bit off target. Right, so we've got a trailer. So off we jolly well go. Uh, I don't know which way it is first. Uh, up there, I think, guys. We can get across the crossing before the train comes. I wonder if I was to park somewhere across there. I think I'm on the wrong side of the road actually. We get to this big cow. <laughs> there not. And we need to go left, I hope. Gauges actually move as well, guys, which is unusual. Well, not unusual, but yeah, the graphics are quite good, so we jump out of there. So we need to go through the farmyard. I'll do a bit of landscaping and put another road in, in, uh, in a little bit later on, guys. So we'll dive through one of these. Unpack some of this while we're at it. Must not drive too fast because otherwise we'll spin the trailer. Out. Get onto the proper road. Do it properly because you guys are watching. If you wasn't uh, watching this, guys, it'd be straight a direct route straight across country. What I'm going to do guys is uh, make a video of that, but what we're going to do is just here, this is a little side road up in front of us guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little road in there. But as you can see, that's full of uh, straw bales. No, and it's full of wool bales. So I'll we'll detach the trailer. There's a method, the reason for that, what we need to do is park this here. And then we need to unfold the car. We need to get the tailgate down. Stop the engine, get out. Take the straps off. Right, we need to go um, and pick up the telehandler now, so uh, which is over here. So if you just... Uh, Bear with me guys, we'll pick up the telehandler. So guys, there we are, the uh, telehandler's up in front, and I'm rather out of breath after all of that running. So there's a the telehandler. So the first thing we need to do is drop the forks, or drop the bale spikes. Then drive all the way over to the um, wool enclosure or the, the, uh, the sheep are. Sheep? Sheep. Is more than one sheep sheeps? There's a question for me. Should we call them sheeps? <laughs> Probably not. Pick up. Just reach out a little bit so we can grab it without running into my lovely shiny pickup. Pretty out, they were quick. 
<laughs> so, going, uh, that's over there. This is where it could all go horribly wrong. So, where is the which side do we go in? Bear in mind, guys, I've got to make. Oh, I've got to make a good job of this because I drive a fork truck for uh, a living. <laughs> what side do we enter the path? This is where you find out that the forks are too wide. Oh, too high. to deposit the on the trailer. And we load at the headboard. I think rather professional, aren't we? Not probably the best place to park the trailer. There seems to be grass growing through it. Alright, so I'll take the tilt off my forks. I think it's kissing. Probably not the best place to actually park the um, trailer, to be honest. Now I wonder if I actually put the <laughs> park trailer over the slot where the bales, they automatically appear here when, as and when they're ready. But I wonder if I park the trailer here, would they actually load them on the trailer for me? Look that there, that's I'm not even going to go that one. Nope. I should have parked the trailer here next time we do that. I wonder how many we can get on the trailer. We should in theory get six. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no, don't push it off. Take the tail. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> yes. You didn't see it. I could edit that out, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. <laughs> what you want, see? My forklift truck, or right on my work, I've got side shift. <laughs> stop laughing people, stop laughing. Right. I think it's because the grain's uneven, that's my excuse guys, and I'm sticking to it. Right, we'll, have, we'll do this one again. I think next time we should park it somewhere a little bit more um, suitable. And my excuse is, I drive a fork truck, not a telly and with the forks on, and they are totally different, I can assure you. only just on there, isn't it? Totally, I can't see it in the long grass. Is that going to fall off before I get it to the trailer? Do to stop that happening again. Can we do it with this one? Yes, we can. And at least I can't knock it off again. <laughs> well, that's the theory, isn't it? So we just do these two guys. I don't really want to watch it, but I suppose with the magic of video editing and the share factory on the PlayStation, we can actually speed this up. So uh, I'm going to speed this up. So. Uh, 
not going to talk anymore. What I could do, I could sing about that. Oop, crap. So guys, I'm going to speed this up. La 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 la. Give me the moonlight, give me the sunshine. Ta -da 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 -da. We get closer. One more to go, one more to go. So there you are guys, that's the last one. Mind I haven't got actually got it on yet. I certainly think, yeah, I think that, yeah, it's higher than that. That's my excuse. So, guys, we're going to work and we're going to have to. What can I leave these bales? I'm going to have to leave these forks somewhere, so I'm going to dump them just if we be needing them at this end. So what I'm going to do guys, I am going to... Put that trailer somewhere different. Okay, that's not. Well, I don't know whether this pickup's going to actually manage to tow that. <laughs> That'd be good to. I reckon I can get another. What? I reckon I can get another four on there or not? Oh, look at the back of that. That sat down pretty well, didn't it? My wheels on the ground. Yeah. So we're going to put that somewhere. Can we put we wanna put that somewhere a bit more leveler? Not such a word, is it? What about I tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you my reversing skills to start with. Well I know what if I put that let's go forward a bit. But you're well impressing my reversing skills, so I'm going to stick it about. No, that's not. Nice. I talk, spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> I'm going to sort of go in a straight line somewhere, sort of there. And a theory, if I dump it there. Yeah, you see, it? that's not straight, is it?
Well, we're going to go for that, guys. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to leave the pickup here. And we're going to wait for some more. Because it kept flashing up uh, whilst I was doing all the harvesting and prepping all that. It's flashed up that uh, the... Um, couldn't get any more bales in, so or, uh, wool bales in. So we're going to go drive back uh, to the farm. So as if by magic, we're going to do some high-speed driving. So goes back at the, uh, I said the farm, but actually back at the um, cattle enclosure and everything else. So first we're going to pick up our uh, bale spikes. We're going to need them. So guys, what we're going to do is, do we need? So I can't do any more. So that's that field over there. All the um, Hay still needs picking up, but I've got way too many bales. I bought a few more cattle. I think I've got 18 or supposed to be 20 or 22 or something like that. Obviously it doesn't show it, it doesn't. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to just... Uh, that's all that needs. There's very little we can do at uh, this end, guys. So let's just jump into the um, animal uh, menu and uh, see how we're getting on. So, guys, here we are at the uh, animal menu, if you like, with the animals. So, what we got, let's have a look. So, the uh, sheep are. Well, they're okay. We could put some grass or hay. I might, uh, might put some hay up uh, for the sheep in a moment, guys. Um, so, the sheep, right? Pigs are okay, wheat, barley maybe, we could load some uh, cleanliness, they're a bit grubby, but they're okay, other than that, still producing, uh, the cattle are absolutely fine, so they don't need anything at the moment. So, what should we do? Let's take some hay. Uh, oh no, let's, no, let's take some hay up to the sheep this time. So then what we do is, it's probably not the best way of doing it guys, but I haven't got a trailer really available, so we'll do it with a telehandler. When we've done this, we're just going to pop this side and we'll pop back to the farm when we've done this. We're going to have our house to see how well the um, harvesting is going on, guys. What I might do when I harvest or, sorry, when I bail, do some bailing, I might stump the pile of a little trailer load of bales up here so we've always up here so we're heading towards the enclosure so uh, by the uh, magic of editing we should be there directly so guys here we are we are at the uh, sheep enclosure now i'm hoping this is going to work it might not but in theory if we drop that on that square it will disappear But obviously first of all we have to leave it there. This might not this might not work. <laughs> no it didn't. Normally if you drop that there it will get picked up. Let's see if we can do it this way then. Oh. If it don't work then I'm gonna have to bring the machine over here. So I'm putting it in the wrong place. 
No, so I've never done it before. Normally, that's so good. I don't know. I don't think there's anywhere else to put it. I'm not sure where that was. Well, if we put it there, that's for the piggies. Well, that sort of failed a bit. Well, I can't remember I did it last time. Can you remember I did it last time? That's water. So I'll uh, we'll go putting it there because it won't disappear. In theory, you get back far enough, it'll disappear. I'm sure it did last time. So this could be a failure on film. Okay, let's dump it there and drive well away. Perhaps it's because we were... Hmm. Well, that sort of failed. But do sheep take hay? Am I actually... Do they take hay? Let's just put the menu. Yes. Ah, see, guys, there's my mistake, look. They've got enough food already. <laughs> Stupid. What about the pigs? Do they need any hay? No, they eat wheat and barley. Well, that was my mistake. So, but anyway, I think if we drop that there, as soon as that uh, level goes down, guys, I think it'll just disappear. That's the plan, anyway. So while we're here, I'm going to jump in this little, is it still over here, my, my skid loader. There, yeah, we got anything? No, there's nothing in the skid loader, so what we'll do guys is, let's take the skid loader back and Fill the bucket up with my stuff that I chucked on the floor. So, get out of the way, bird, I'll go run you over. That's it. So, uh, we seem to be a bit of a two and eight here, guys. So, I'm just going to shoot over to the skid loader with the, with the skid loader. So, uh, again, by the magic of video editing, we should catch you over in yeah, pretty much of a straight line. So, I'm just going to go straight across the fields. So guys, here we are, we are at my little um, pile of um, straw that accidentally got dumped here by me. And we're going to fill up... Shame we can't, we might be able to pick it all up. Oh, I don't like that bit heavy. We might be able to pick it all up in one scoopage. Let's see if we can. We can get rid of all of that in one scoop it will make it so much more neater and tidy. There we go, right. So guys, back we go to the pig enclosure. So again, with the magic of uh, video editing, we shall be there momentarily. So guys, here we are, back at the pig enclosure, so what we're going to do is just chuck this lot over that fence. But we've got to be in with them chevron jobbies, otherwise it won't work, so... Up we go. Let's just get past that post here. Oh, tip the damn thing over. So now, we'll come down, tilt the bucket forward and it'll just deposit... Well, it probably won't deposit all of it, might. It. So they are. That's okay. Actually, I might sell this machine one because I only bought this really to get rid of that stuff. So let's just jump into the animal enclosure again. So we're pigs. What are they like? Oh yeah, straws. Okay, they need. No, I'll probably keep the tail, uh, the digger up here, the skid loader. So that's really it, guys. So. 
I'll not make this video any longer than it should be. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to jump back to the farm and see how well our combining going. So uh, with the magic of uh, video editing with the share factory, we're going to jump back to the farm. So guys, here we are back at the farm. Andy's actually finished that field. I probably don't think he's got a full tank. So what we do is, oh, he's only half. Was only 46% on the tank. So what we do is, guys, we're going to drive that to the next field. Now, one thing you can't do, guys, is actually mix. Well, you might be able to mix crops when you harvest them, but it, it'll obviously only empty the crop that's um, you know, one at a time. It won't mix them in the trailer, I believe. I think the other games, the other farming simulated games, wouldn't actually, once you started, you couldn't mix crops. Anyway, I'm going to line them up with that. And they just go straight in and hire a worker for this one, guys. So whilst we're doing that, we'll jump back to the uh, animal enclosure and start. I'm a bit of a tidy up round there, guys, so just bear with me. So guys, here we are, back at the pig pen, as they say. So, oh, no, I don't want to get in there just. I want to go and see if we've got any any bales appeared. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. So oh, that's what it does then. So it puts one, but you get four bales per pallet. Do I ever get four on there, another four? Don't think the pickup's going to like it. Might be able to get one in the back of the pickup as well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be something for another video. Then we'll have to find out where uh, we can sell them. Perhaps I should buy another pickup and... Uh, not another pickup, perhaps I should buy another telehandler. No, I probably haven't got enough space. So guys, we're just going to run this back over to the, um, the cattle arse, so we'll do it by the road way, shall we guys? So uh, again, Sheriff Factory editing, here we go. Right guys, here we are back at the cattle enclosure and I just want to show you one more uh, field that uh, I've started, so if you just bear with me guys, we'll jump over to that one. So guys, here we are, we're looking at field 12, so I've just planted this one, I can't do it, it's the only one I can plant at the minute, because I've got all that uh, stuff there that I can't pick up, because I've got too many bales, I got a bit carried away with uh, making bales. That field there, which is just is waiting, it's that still full of um, straw ready to be picked up. But I planted this one, so I can't remember what I got in this one. Oh, Calaloni, yeah, so we've got Calaloni in this one. So this is, it's growing, it's not ready to go, guys. So uh, that's another one uh, that we can harvest a bit later on. So what we're doing, guys, we're waiting here. So this field's waiting to go, waiting to be uh, completely empty. But at the minute, guys, we've still got uh, all this on this field. And there's the baler down there waiting to go. But we can't do this one, guys, because so uh, we've got too many bales. I could plough it in, but uh, that'll be a bit wasteful. So that's really it, guys. Just going to jump back to the farm now and see how. Uh, I'm not going to run. I'm gonna <laughs> And uh, see how well the um, harvesting's gone on that one, guys. So just bear with me. So, guys, here we are, back at the farm. Back at the farmhouse. So there's a bit of harvesting going on now. Can't be much more. Let's see if we can actually jump into the combine in a minute, guys, and we'll see what uh, the level is. So, guys, here we are in the combine. So we are at 69%. Uh, full. So shall I attempt to empty that whilst it's going? 
I think we can do that guys, so let's go and jump into the tractor and the trailer and we'll attempt to empty that whilst it's going, so just bear with me guys. So guys, we're going to grab this tractor. I think it's going to start then. We're going to grab that bright yellow trailer over there. Now, I'm not sure whether this will work because it depends if the um, pipe on the combine will actually go over the trailer. But we're about to find out. So this might end in complete and utter disaster. I'm also going to be embarrassing myself completely. Rule, well, don't run into the barn. Kill it. So what we've got to do is... <laughs> well, don't be smutty, but what we've got to do is sneak up behind the combine. Which side's the uh, pipe? this side? I think it's this side. So we're going to sneak up behind the combine and in theory, will he stick his pipe out? Yep. Got a bit, a bit closer. Uh, it's just not going to work. What should we get on there? Bad. Oh, there you go. You stopped waiting for us. What a fine combine driver he is. Get out of his way and let him turn around. Let's see if we can actually f follow him down the field. That'd be something different, wouldn't it? As I park on my uh, crops, flattening them, right? So we're going to follow this guy down the field, see how good I am. <laughs> this could end in disaster. End it with all that um, oats all over the. Right, so we've got to get close enough to him. And third, as soon as he picks it up, he's going to spit it out straight in my trailer. And I get close enough. Right, there we are. Right, so no, not close enough. Come on. Yeah, I've got to get closer to it. But there you go, guys. So that is how you empty a combine on the go. So I'm going to park over here somewhere out of his way. So guys, that's it. That is the end of another little visit to the farm. So we'll just uh, watch this chappy do that one. Where'd you go in there? Ah, quick, uh, wait, he's coming at me. is combining on the field. Probably shouldn't really get this close to a harvester. So we're on board now guys, so we'll just have a little sort of um, drone shot if you like. I could use this as the uh, thumbnail, couldn't I? Anyway guys, that's it for this visit to Farming Simulator. Uh, Hope you've enjoyed it. Well, I'm going to carry on uh, harvesting this crop and uh, I'll bring you back perhaps a bit later on uh, for another video when we've got something a little bit different to uh, show you. But we're just going to um, watch this fine gentleman do the harvesting, get this lot finished, and uh, I'll bring you back perhaps when uh, we've got the wool to sell. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching this one and we'll catch you again back on the farm. Bye bye for now.